Hi, it's Michael here in the ASP product training room, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the foam grip in an ASP baton. Now the foam we use in our batons is a proprietary compound that's engineered to be incredibly durable and long-lasting. But like any wear item, over long-term hard use, you may find that you need to replace the grip on your baton. Doing so is easy and just requires an ASP grip kit, which has most of the parts and supplies that you need to replace grips on ASP friction and talon batons, and you'll also need some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Here's the steps to replacing the foam grip on your baton. So the first step, take the cap off your baton, remove the shafts of the baton, and take out the retaining clip. Set the shafts aside, remove the O-ring, Good time to inspect that and make sure that it's not dry or cracked. If it is, go ahead and replace that. Put the retaining clip back in place in the handle. That provides the correct amount of space for the cap when you install the new grip. Take your utility knife, make one slit down from top to bottom. Remove the old grip and discard that. And then you're going to want to remove the old tape from inside the grip. Oftentimes it'll come off pretty easily like that. Sometimes you may need to pick it off a little bit and clean off any residue. You can use the alcohol for that. This one came off pretty cleanly, that's good. Make sure it's clean. Next step is to take the double-sided tape, and you wanna put it right at the top. Don't, you don't wanna overlap the lip of the shaft and you don't want to overlap the tape so that you don't wind up with any bulges inside of the grip tape. Cut off the excess. Again, you want it to mate cleanly without any overlap so that you have a smooth surface underneath the grip. Same thing at the cap end. Don't overlap the cap. Get as close to it as you can without overlapping. Cut it cleanly, and then you're going to want to remove the backing from the double-sided tape. So now we've got our clean surface, we've got the double-sided tape applied to the top and bottom with the backing removed. The next step is going to be to select the correct grip from the grip kit for the baton that you are working on, and take your alcohol and we're gonna prep both the inside of the grip with the alcohol, and what that's gonna do is act as a lubricant that's going to evaporate on its own. So it just lasts long enough to perform the field service. And then you're gonna to wanna to also swab the alcohol around the tape so that the tape will be temporarily slip, slippery and allow for the new grip to slide on. Now, here's where it requires a little bit of work and patience. The grip has a wide end and a tapered end, and it should be pretty obvious. You wanna make sure you're starting with the wide end, working your way down. Put that wide end over the top of the baton. This is the cap, this is the top, and you wanna get it to seat. Might need a little more alcohol. Once you get it over that top lip, you start working it down. And we recommend just working this sort of top half, not pulling from the bottom. And keep working it down. And 
until it is in place. Same with the bottom. And just smooth it out. Make sure it seats perfectly at the cap end and the top end. That's pretty good. And then take off your cap. Put your O-ring back if you didn't do that earlier. Put your shafts back in the baton. Retaining clip back in the shafts. Cap back in place. And you are good to go. We recommend letting your baton sit for a day so that that alcohol can fully evaporate and the grip will be firmly taped in place. And that's all there is to it. Your baton's back in service. And I hope you found that video helpful and go out there and be safe.